Good Tuesday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to what's making news today, let's take a quick look outside our hot weather window. And even though three weeks away from the start of summer, the official start of summer, it sure felt like it out there today. What a beautiful day to head up to Lake Chelan. This view is from our Manson Water Tower SkyFi Tower Cam. And boy, what a day to be up that way. Not a cloud in the sky today with high temperatures mainly in the lower to mid 90s. And that has prompted the National Weather Service to uh, put a heat advisory for North Central Washington, almost all of us. And now that includes Douglas County. That's the county in white. And that's all of our viewing area pretty much where well, you need to drink lots of water if you're outside and dress for the heat. Just do all the things that are common sense things when it's hot outside. But as all good things, it will come to an end. That is, if you like the hot weather, our temperatures will slowly be on the downward trend after tomorrow. And especially as we get into Friday with temperatures on Friday, about 10 degrees cooler, some breezy conditions, and we will cool down another 10 degrees by this weekend. More wind on Saturday with high temperatures this weekend in the lower 70s. We'll have more weather in for you coming up a little bit later on. And now here are a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. A 47-year-old East Wenatchee man faces charges of DUI and hit and run after a collision late Sunday at Highway 28 and Nile. The pilot of a small plane escaped injury after crashing in a marshy area outside Kashmir Sunday afternoon. Several agencies responded to a challenging hillside fire off Chihuahua Loop Road east of Plain late Saturday afternoon. And firefighters were able to stop a brush fire from spreading to livestock barns on property near Monitor yesterday afternoon. But first, on a very busy news day, our top story tonight, two people had to be airlifted to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle with burn injuries after a camper fire early Saturday morning outside Manson. The Manson Volunteer Firefighters Association said fire and EMT crews responded about 2 a.m. to a report of a fire and explosions in the area above Roses Lake and Wapato Lake. They arrived to find a camp trailer, car, and nearby grass and brush on fire. The association said the fire is believed to have started in the trailer. The fire was contained to one acre and crews had cleared the scene by 5 a.m. The condition of the two injured people, their identities, and the cause of the fire was not immediately available. Meanwhile, a 47-year-old East Wenatchee man faces charges of DUI and hit and run after a collision late Sunday at Highway 28 and Nile Avenue south of Hydro Park. The Washington State Patrol says Rosalina Ramirez Osario was driving a 2013 Toyota Tundra south on Nile about 9.45 p.m. and failed to stop at a stop sign at Highway 28. His vehicle was hit by a westbound 2013 Ford C-Max being driven by 32-year-old Sylvia Garcia of Pasco. Osario reportedly fled the scene but was apprehended a short time later on the highway. Garcia suffered minor scrapes in the wreck, but was not transported to the hospital. Well, the pilot of a small plane escaped injury after crashing in a marshy area outside Kashmir Sunday afternoon. The Chelan County Sheriff's Office said the pilot had just purchased the airplane and was flying it to Montana, but it quickly encountered engine issues after taking off from the Kashmir Airport. The plane went down about a half mile from the airport. The sheriff's office said it was surprising the pilot, who was flying alone, was able to escape unharmed. The status on the sale of the airplane was not immediately available. Several agencies responded to a challenging hillside fire off Chihuahua Loop Road east of Plain late Saturday afternoon. A level one evacuation notice was briefly issued in the Shugart Flats area. Lake Wenatchee Fire and Rescue reported that the fire burned through heavy timber up the south slope of Bee Sting Hill. The fire was reported just after 4 p.m. Crews from Lake Wenatchee, Kashmir, Wenatchee, Douglas County, the Department of Natural Resources, and U.S. Forest Service, as well as a private dozer, responded. They had the fire contained by 8 p.m. DNR and Lake Wenatchee crews spent Sunday mopping up. Well, firefighters were able to stop a brush fire from spreading to livestock barns on property near Monitor yesterday afternoon. 
Chelan County Fire District 6 Chief Phil Mosher said the property owner on Iroquois Lane was burning yard waste about 2 p.m. when the fire got out of control and spread to brush and other materials, which then burned up to the edge of the barn complex. Fire District 6 was assisted by Chelan County Fire District 1 and Kashmir firefighters in gaining control of the blaze, which burned about an acre and a half. The fire spread to an adjacent property, but no structures were damaged. Mosher noted that yesterday was the last day of legal burning in Chelan and other north central Washington counties. Well, coming up next, a case of instant karma on Moses Lake this weekend. We'll tell you the story. As the company negotiates with a potential buyer, Liberty Orchards in Kashmir will remain open rather than close today as that had been previously announced. And the commander of North Central Washington State Patrol District is retiring. I'm Grant Olson and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Local Myth Pizza, we believe in real food. Freshly prepared with only premium ingredients. Our cheeses are imported from Italy. Our sauces, dressings, and even our sausages are made in-house fresh daily. Featuring Northwest craft beers and 30 Chelan Valley wines and ciders. Family fun and amazing food. Eat local, drink local, and be local at Local Myth Pizza. Come see why Sunset Magazine says you can't beat Local Myth Pizza. Traditional values and innovation in honoring the life of each family we serve is part of the ministry of Heritage Memorial Chapel. Our staff is committed to walk with your family with compassion through this time of grief. We are here to help and here to serve the right kind of help when you need it most. Heritage Memorial Chapel. You love to help others. You need a solid career. You can have it all with help from Charter College. Our 10-month medical assistant program prepares you to work in healthcare settings like physician offices, rehab centers, and clinics. You'll learn to take patient vitals, assist with exams, administer injections, and maintain medical records. When you're ready to launch a rewarding healthcare career, visit chartercollege.edu because we work to get you to work. Welcome back. In another news, a case of instant karma on Moses Lake this weekend where three people on a small boat harassed another group of boaters for flying LGBTQ pride flags and then had to depend on those same people to rescue them when their engine burst into flame. A TikTok user on board the rescuer's boat posted this video yesterday. The offending boat circled and tried to swamp the rescuers while the people on board made obscene gestures. When their en engines suddenly exploded, the harassed Good Samaritans took them aboard and sheltered them until they could return to shore. The burning boat was a total loss. The rescuers said the trio did not offer any thank you or apology. Well, as the company negotiates with a potential buyer, Liberty Orchards in Kashmir will remain open rather than closed today, as had been previously announced. The company posted on social media Friday that they will remain open and continue all normal operations until negotiations are concluded. The maker of Applets and Cotlets announced in March that they'd be closing in June after more than 100 years in business. The company has been looking for a buyer for about three years. Well, the commander of the North Central Washington State Patrol District is retiring. Captain Matt Couchman has been with the troopers since 1995 and since 2019 has directed the patrol out of the Wenatchee field office. State Patrol employees sent him off with a recognition ceremony on Thursday. District 6 serves Chelan, Douglas, Grant, Kittitas, and Okanagan counties. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Please stay with us. It's estimated that one third of Americans do not have a financial plan. 
At DA Davidson, their advisors are working to change that because they understand the importance of planning for the future. At DA Davidson, they believe in partnering together to build a strategy tailored to your needs. They spend the time and have the knowledge to help keep your financial future on track. Let DA Davidson Financial Advisors of Wenatchee put the strength of advice to work for you. Hi, Stephen DeVilbis here, Branch Manager of Beneficial and Home Care. We are an equal opportunity employer and we do not discriminate in employment or services. It is our mission to maximize our clients' physical health and sense of mental well-being while remaining in the comfort of their home. We are currently seeking professional caregivers who share our mission to help our clients live safely and comfortably at home. Call Beneficial and Home Care. Schedule your interview today, 509-663-7900. What is home? A place to gather, a place to grow, provide shelter for the ones we love, eat, drink, restore, build trust. It's a place to rest when the work day is done, a place to find quiet after a night of good fun. What an honor we have at Guild to help own, finance, create, pave the way to live in home. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. In tonight's feature story, the mass vaccination site at Town Toyota Center is quieter now than when it started on January 26th. But in that time, the site has administered more than 57,000 COVID-19 shots to the Wenatchee Valley. As of last week, the State Department of Health and National Guard officially handed over control of the operation to the Chelan Douglas Health District. It's now reopened with new hours and on-site COVID testing. We visited with one of the state's two site managers last week to talk about that transition. And we apologize for the technical difficulties with that last story. We will try and bring that to you once again tomorrow during the evening news. But now let's take a look at your north central Washington weather forecast. Hope you had a fantastic Memorial Day weekend. Saturday temperatures in the mid 80s. Sunday, or I should say upper 70s, mid 80s for Sunday and around 90 yesterday for highs. And as we look out our weather window from this afternoon, hardly a cloud to be seen other than a little bit of a contrail in the sky today. Other than that, bright blue sky and summer-like weather. And boy, did it ever feel like summer as we look down at the Wenatchee Valley. Unofficial high temperature today at Pangborn Airport. 95 degrees, a solid 20 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. 63 was our overnight low, so we were off and running early this morning for warm temperatures. 52 is normal, almost at that record high from 1986 of 98 degrees. Record low was in 1976, and that was 39 degrees. Sunrise this morning, 508, and the sun will set tonight at 10 minutes to 9 o'clock. Let's take a look now at how your Wednesday weather will shape up. 
And I'll tell you what, we are looking at possible record highs all over north central Washington tomorrow. Triple digits all over the Columbia Basin, Moses Lake, Afreda, and Quincy. We still might get to 100. I'm thinking about 99 in the Wenatchee area tomorrow, 98 in both Kashmir and Leavenworth. Lake Wenatchee even hot tomorrow at 93 degrees and 98 as well up at Lake Chelan. Let's take a look at that surface loop and we'll show you late in our forecast when things will really change. But this is our big picture. Here we are, Washington State, large areas of high pressure off the coast. And here's the top of our ridge almost completely over the Pacific Northwest. That's keeping most of those clouds at bay. So that's what we'll enjoy tonight. Tomorrow, we just talked about it, possible record high temperatures with high Highs around 100 degrees, that dark red, all 100s in Washington State tomorrow. And I, once again, that's going to be 20 to 25 degrees above where we should be. By Thursday, also a very warm day, although a little bit breezy. As this area of low pressure begins to kind of kick into gear, that'll bring our winds up a little, but we're still going to be hot with high temperatures Thursday, once again in the mid 90s. And then we start to transition a little bit on Friday. Our high pressure ridge will be flattened a little bit by that large area of low pressure, but notice our isobars very, very tightly packed, and that means breezy conditions. Also a little bit cooler as our airflow comes from the northwest. Friday's highs about 84 degrees. For Saturday, kicking off our next weekend, mostly sunny. It will be a windy day on Saturday. Look at all of the wind all across the Intermountain West. Much cooler Saturday as well, with highs only in the lower to mid 70s. We will actually be below normal temperatures by this weekend. Sunday no different. Partly cloudy skies, a little bit cooler with high temperatures barely above 70 degrees. And then as we get into Monday, mostly sunny, just a little bit breezy once again in north central Washington. Seasonably cool. That means temperatures just slightly below normals. We're talking highs on Monday, mainly in the lower 70s. Let's take a look at your seven day forecast now. How about a low temperature of 68 degrees? That's what we will see tonight on our way to 99 tomorrow, possibly a new record. We'll keep you posted on that. Breezy at 94 Thursday, a little breezy both Friday and Saturday too. And look at the cool down, 10 degrees on Friday and then another 10 degrees as we get into Saturday and windy, partly cloudy and mild on Sunday and 71. And then as we get you into Monday, mostly sunny and mild, less wind too, with high temperatures Monday around 73 degrees. And that's a look at your local Local weather forecast coming up next tonight sports report with Eric Grandstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. At Wenatchee Power Sports, we proudly offer the Players product line. Players builds the highest quality side by side in the industry with off road capability that's second to none. Polaris pre-order program allows customers to purchase the vehicle they want without having to select from limited dealer inventory. The Wenatchee Valley has year-round access to some of the best ORV trails in the Northwest. Start your adventure here at Wenatchee Power Sports. The Tan Republic Bronze Without Borders membership is our best membership to date. Discounted monthly dues, access to over 65 locations, 25% off all products, discounted upgrades and spray tanning, members only specials, and of course, we treat you like a VIT. Very important tanner. Ask your certified Smart Tan Associate how you can sign up for a Bronze Without Borders membership program today and save. Tan beautiful. Tan Republic. And now it's a sports update on the NCW Life Channel. And a happy Tuesday feels like Monday to you. The Mariners won its fifth straight game Monday by walking off against the Oakland A's on Tom Murphy's sack fly in the bottom of the 10th. 6-5 was the final score. Seattle had to come through with two runs in the 10th to win it after the A's grabbed a 5-4 lead in the top half of the inning. One out, one on. 2-2. Two -two. Hard hit, ground ball. France has really been swinging well since he's come back from the I.L. and it continues here. Another clutch base hit with a runner in scoring position. 2-1 to Murphy. In right field. Bill. This very well could do it. Piscotti, long throw. Mariners win! It 
self-defense for Tom Murphy. <laughs> what a great moment for Tom. It's been a struggle. We've talked about it. Terrific AB to get the ball airborne out into right. More than deep enough, and you can see his teammates are just excited for him. <laughs> now there's a look. Logan Gilbert had his best start on the majors on the mound uh, in his major league career so far. He last six innings, allowed two runs, five hits, strikeout five, and walk. Manager Scott Service was pleased with how the game started and especially how it ended. Started off with Logan Gilbert, uh, obviously the best outing he's had in the big leagues, and he's starting to settle in. Um, thought he did an outstanding job, certainly. Um, started out a little crazy. The first pitch of the game hits a guy, and he turns the next pitch into a double play. But I uh, thought he threw the ball really, really well. Uh, again, continuing to work, and he stayed with his secondary pitches today. He got his slider going, and that certainly helped him uh, get through those six innings. Uh, uh, Donnie Walton, or also known as Rudy on our team, uh, the three-run homer today. So uh, he has become a <laughs> the guy everybody choose, uh, cheers for, no, no question. It's, it's the, the little guy that busts his tail every day, and uh, coming up big and playing great baseball for us. But, uh, you know, our bullpen um, has just been so consistent no matter who we put out there. And we almost wiggled through it today, uh, just not quite enough. Obviously, they got the, the two runs there in the eighth. But uh, heck of a job by our guys to hang in there and find a way to win it at the end. Scott, how impressed were you with Murphy's approach there in that last at bat? I mean, not even getting a hit there, but getting something that he could put deep enough into the ballpark to, to bring home that run. Yeah, it's, it's, it's being a professional right there you're not trying to hit a homer you're not trying to kill it just understanding what the situation calls for now an important note of the game kyle lewis had to come out of the game after landing awkwardly on a fly ball over his head and the aid service says they're just being cautious scott what happened with kyle lewis and, and do you have an update on on him yeah you know kyle um if you remember the i think the ball that murphy uh hit over his head or in the gap there in the eighth inning uh you know he kind of reach for it I think when he when he came down he, he felt some soreness in his knee um, a little bit similar to maybe what he felt in spring training uh, you know he did miss some time with that so uh, just precautionary let's get him out of the game let's get it checked on and, and take a look from there so again we'll wait and see um, he'll, he'll get looked at here after the game or uh, and see what we got. Yeah, Lewis missed a month with that, so we'll keep our fingers crossed on that one. Seattle, Oakland again tonight, 7-10. Marco Gonzalez makes his return to the mound after missing a month with an injury. He'll go up against the Angels' Chris Bassett. In the other American League West action on Monday, Evan Longoria's 2-for-2 uh, two two at the plate, a three-run home run to lead San Francisco over the Angels, 6-1. to one. And in Houston, Kyle Tucker was 3-for-4 four with four RBIs to lead the Astros to an 11-2 blowout of Boston. And when Anchi Apple Sox returned to baseball for the first time in 656 days tonight at Paul Thomas Senior Stadium. Wenatchee welcomes the Northwest Star Academy to town for the first of a two-game series at 635. Tickets on sale only online at applesox.com. They don't have to make the fan experience that much better this season. The Apple Sox have installed a new video scoreboard and made getting concessions much easier and quicker. So concessions is going to be fully open and in fact we've actually added some additional uh, benefits to concessions and so we'll be offering an app called fan food where you can go and place your order online and you can go and pick it up from a little table over there and so it'll be a really nice way to hopefully lessen some of the lines because I know in years past especially that third of July game we definitely get a little backed up at concession stand and so it's it's going to be a nice way for people to order online sit in their seats and then finally go and pick up their food when it's ready so we're excited. Apple Sox and Star Academy begin the 2021 season tonight at Paul Thomas. Let's head back to the weekend for some high school basketball scores. First, from Friday, where the Wenatchee Panthers jumped out early to a lead and held on for a 64-51 victory over Eastbourne. Garrett Long led the way for the Panthers with 26 points, while John Albert had 13. Grant Olson had the call here on the NCAW Life Channel. Slow it down. Panthers with this 15-point lead. Just left a Sparza in his dust there. As Albert now back to another three. It's good. And the Panthers come back three on two. Here's Dory underneath Lloyd Hammer. Shovel pass. Albert layup. Good. He's got eight off the bench for the Panthers. It's a 20-point Wenatchee lead now to Lloyd Hammer. Top of the key. Easily is on him. Lloyd Hammer loses control of it, and it's stolen away by Wiersma. He's been the star. Layup good. Picked up there by Monahan. Esparza for three. Finally gets a bucket to go. And Eastmont comes back the other way. Esparza. Monahan left alone. Flat again. Three good. First time that the Wildcats have been in a single-digit deficit 
since early, early in this game. And here we are at 150 left. Because Long is just going to let that clock roll down. 10 now on the game clock. Got to take it to the basket. Does left-handed layup is good. And the Panthers lead it 64-51. And that is going to do it here from Eastmont High School tonight. Um, I mean, we just stay composed. You know, we play hard the whole game. You know, our coach hey, emphasizes. MVP right here. Not MVP. <laughs> our coach emphasizes, you know, playing hard. We know every day we work on defensive drills and everything. So, I mean, really, you know, we know that, you know, defense translates to offense. So, um, you know, we just got to stay composed, you know, play hard. And then we know that our offense will come. Nick Wiersma led the way for Eastmont with 15 points. Kale Flanagan had 12 in the loss. Another action on Friday night. Afraid to top Chelan. Cashmere clipped Quincy. Lake Roosevelt topped Waluke. Royal edged Manson. It was Oroville over Eniat. Brewster beat Tanaskin and Soap Lake bettered Pateras. Wenatchee improved to 3-1 on the season Saturday with a 64-43 win over Sunnyside. West Valley handed Eastmont a 75-44 loss. Okanagan beat Ifrita. Quincy got by Cascade. Cashmere topped Omax. Chelan had no trouble with Warden. ACH defeated Manson and Oroville stopped so play. Coming up on a busy boys schedule tonight, 730 games have Eastmont hosting Davis, Wenatchee's at Ike, Moses Lake welcomes West Valley, Quincy's at Ifrita, Cascade hosts Okanagan, Cashmere travels to Chelan, Bridgeport plays at Etiat, Tadaskin takes on Liberty Bell and uh, Oroville, uh, and ACH hosts Moses Lake, Christian Waterville Mansfield plays at Pateras tonight at 8 o'clock. Turning to the girls scores from Friday, here we go, deep breath, Eastmont edge Wenatchee 36-35, Chelan top to Ifrita, Cashmere caught Quincy. Oroville edged Eniat. Brewster beat Tadaska. Waluke overwhelmed Lake Roosevelt. Royal mauled Manson. Padera stopped Soap Lake. Now turning to Saturday. Sunnyside crushed Wenatchee 60 to 18. Eastmont beat West Valley 42 24. Okanagan topped Defreda. Quincy clocked Cascade. Cashmere beat, uh, well, had a scare, but beat Omac 43 35. Warden Cruz passed Chelan. Waluke bettered Brewster. ACH beat Manson. And Oroville stopped Soap Lake. On the girls' schedule, the games to start off first. Defreda hosting Quincy. Quincy, Okanagan's at Cascade, Cashmere plays at Chelan, Anian hosts Bridgeport, Lake Roosevelt's at Tanaska, Oroville takes on Liberty Bell, Pateras hosts Waterville Mansfield, uh, Eastmont's at Davis, Moses Lake travels to West Valley, and uh, here on the NCW Life Channel, I'll have Wenatchee and Ike coming up at 7.30. Wenatchee Valley Knights, uh, Lady Knights basketball team picked up a 59-54 win over Walla Walla on Friday. Grace Erdman led the way with 14 points, Natalie Andreas and Kitty Fleming each with 10. Coming up today, the men and women on the road at CBC, women first, the men's Will follow Quincy today. The spot for some busy wrestling. Jackrabbits hosting Cascade, Cashmere, Efreda, Omac, Royal, Waluk, Warden, Pateras. I don't know how they have enough mats for that one. That's sports. Grant, back to you. Thank you very much, Eric. And now let's check in with Dan Coons for a look at what's coming up tomorrow morning on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Dan. Thanks, Grant. As Grant has already mentioned, of course, it's going to be very, very warm. Who's kidding who? It's going to be just plain hot. On Wednesday, we have an excellent chance of setting a new record for June 2nd. In fact, it is going to be so hot on Wednesday that Danny DeVito is dating Dolly Parton just for the shade. That's how hot it's going to be. I'll have your latest weather forecast, news, sports, and anything else that you need to start your Wednesday tomorrow morning, live and local at 7 a.m. on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Graham, back to you. Thank you very much, Dan. And that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. on. I'm a certified technician. I was trained to take good care of you. Nine. I've only been to the dealer. I've been coming here for years. These guys are great. Look around. The BMW, the Jag, the Volvo, they're all waiting for regular service. Well, the BMW has a little computer issue, but that's nothing we can't handle. Come on in. From regular maintenance to computer troubleshooting, trust the Global Car Care technicians with your import, diesel-powered, or domestic vehicle. Global Car Care. They speak your car's language. Danke schön. 
When you call Dix Heating and Air Conditioning, you're calling on 35 plus years of experience in the Wenatchee Valley. Spending extra time in your home, you may have discovered an unwanted aroma of stinky feet, pets, who knows what. Call Dix today about installing their Train Clean Effects Electronic Air Cleaner or a Ream Halo Ultraviolet Air Purifier. Either way, the air quality in your home will be improved. Proudly servicing all of North Central Washington, call 884-6444 today.